How's it going guys? Welcome to Ambrose Landscape YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about equipment defender racks versus green touch trimmer racks. So we will be comparing the brand new equipment defender racks versus the previous version, the yellow trimmer racks from Green Touch Industries. We will be referencing a little bit about the lime green ones that was released not too long ago. There were a few changes made to them, but the whole idea and the whole concept is basically still the same. They only changed a few things on them. So without further ado, let's get started. We will first start off with the most obvious differences between the two racks, which is the color and the shape of the main structure. Equipment defender racks are covered in all black with red accents, while green touch trimmer racks are completely lime green with a polished metal finish. And of course, their previous models were all yellow. Colors may not be a huge deal for a lot of guys, but since the racks are very similar, it's nice to know that you have that color option. Equipment defender rack tubes are square while green touch racks are round. This doesn't make a huge difference with how they work since all the internals are the same, but if you ever want to drill into the racks and hang something off of them, it's a heck of a lot easier with square tubing than round. The install for equipment defender racks were a little bit faster compared to green touch in the enclosed trailer since green touch uses more Allen wrench bolts compared to equipment defenders ratchet bolts. The install would have gone a lot smoother and faster if the directions for Equipment Defender were more detailed, but they really failed to go into depth on which bolt goes where. So after a lot of trial and error and going mainly off the pictures of the box and in the manual, I did succeed in finally getting my racks up. Equipment Defender racks do stick out a little bit further from the wall by a couple inches compared to Green Touch, which does help if you have the Edge of Pro such as myself, but it can get in the way, especially if you have a smaller trailer. In my 85 by 16 trailer, it is not a problem to me at all, but if you have a five or six foot wide trailer, definitely take caution. For both racks, I've seen a lot of guys mount them on two by fours before installing them onto the wall, which will make the rack stick out even further. So that is a big factor to look into when installing these in an enclosed trailer. The previous model green touch racks uh, did not include engine mounts and they were sold separately, but now both companies include them with the purchase of the rack. Uh, equipment defender mounts are all connected and interlocked while green touch went a different way and individualized them which will save time during this setup when installing my engine support mounts for equipment defender one of the mounts did break when placing the main support rod through the holder luckily equipment defender is aware of the problem so if you have the same thing happen to you contact equipment defender to get replacement parts Equipment Defender's racks are made of a thicker metal compared to Green Touch. Uh, though I never had any problems with my previous Green Touch racks, uh, it is nice to know that for the same price you are getting a heavier duty rack. Uh, as for the forward trimmer shaft mount, Equipment Defender had a more heavier duty solution with part of the insert being flat, while Green Touch decreased the size of the hole to reduce movement when transporting. By far the biggest difference between the two is their locking mechanisms. Both offer key locks, but the newest feature for both locks are combination locks, which was and is a great alternative, but you do have to pay more for them. I will say that Equipment Defender does come out on top since their locks basically come with a secondary locking mechanism. After placing in your combination, you have to turn the lock and pull down the plate in order to remove the trimmers from the racks. Uh, with not knowing this, it would definitely make it more difficult for someone to steal your trimmers if they do not know how to properly use the racks. Some of the new features that they added on the Green Touch racks are an extra support down at the base of the rack, a smaller mounting holes for the forward facing shaft holder to reduce uh, movement, uh, new lime green paint, uh, included engine mounts, and optional combination locks. Overall, both racks are extremely similar with just a few differences between the two. With the racks having the same price tag of $260 for a four trimmer support, it really makes the decision process a little bit more easier since they are extremely similar. I have had the previous yellow version green touch racks for over three years, and I have never had a single problem with them, and I absolutely have no complaints. So far with my equipment defender racks, uh, I haven't had any problems with them at all besides that one engine mount breaking. Uh, so now that you know the differences between the two, I will let you guys make the decision on which racks to go with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully we covered everything for you guys to make the right decision with which rack to choose. Like I previously stated, I'm really happy with my Equipment Defender racks. They definitely improved a lot of the flaws in the Green Touch Trimmer racks. But then again, I didn't have a single problem with my Green Touch Trimmer racks. They lasted me for the past three years. They have done amazing and I'm very happy with either one. So now it's time for you guys to decide. Be sure to take the little poll up in the corner on which rack you would rather choose. Leave any comments down below that you'd like 
and be sure to hit that affiliate link if you would like to buy any of the equipment defender racks down below because uh, it does help me out and I do get 5% of whatever sales that I make off my link. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Embryo Landscaping.